Welcome back guys, this is Srikant. In this video, we are going to talk about different kind of scalar valued function. And as we are talking about the scalar valued function only, right? So I'm going to show you few uh, scalar valued function and how to deal with them. And I want to show you how to uh, understand the output. Okay. So before that, just come back here and just do a refresh. You will see a new function in scalar scalar valued function that dpo fn we just created okay now we are going to talk about the scalar valued function which we have already in the system defined one okay fine now they, these are the few categories for the system defined function uh, let's say if one if you want to understand if you want to deal with the aggregate then you need to go with the aggregate function if you want to deal with the configuration you have a set of configuration function for the cursor, you have a set of cursor related function for the data and time, mathematical, metadata, other function, hierarchy, row set, security, all these are the category of a function. And in each category, we'll find a number of respective functions which are which are specifically uh, important for the for the uh, getting the scalar uh, logic, you know. Now we are going to talk about the uh, string function, so just expand the string. And these are the string function we have. Okay, now we are going to talk about the ASCII function. ASCII function is a function which gives you the ASCII value of any character. For example, I want to find out the ASCII value for the character, let's say A. How could I get the ASCII value? You can get the ASCII value simply passing the value of uh, to the ASCII function. So whatever the value you pass to the function, you would get the value. Let's say I want to find out the ASCII value for the B, I would get 66, right? So just execute and let's see. See, I got 66. So if you want to find out the ASCII value for the any character, you simply use the function called as the ASCII and you need to pass that character, you will get the value which we say called as the ASCII value for the function. Okay. And thanks for watching this video. If you guys really like our video, please don't forget to share and subscribe with your community friend. And thanks for watching.